hopefully we're clear on the straight up get request. But what if we need to provide more options? For example, a request headers come to mind. And for that, we'll need to pass in additional argument, and we'll set it up as an object. Now, if you're using straight up get request, then this is going to be second argument. However, if you're using one of the methods, where actually we're passing in data to the server, for example, post, then this is going to be a third argument. And in our upcoming example, I picked the API that is looking for the header, and that is going to be that joke API. And essentially, we'll set up straight up get request. So notice here, axios, and then URL. However, the second argument will be an object. And in there, more specifically, we want to set up headers property. And after that, the API is looking for accept header, and we want to pass in this application JSON. Otherwise, the API is going to send back the text. And then we'll add a little bit of additional logic. So let me close the file. Also, let's navigate to app.js. And in this case, I'm not looking for the file first request, I want to get the headers one. So let me change the path. And we're looking for the second one. Again, I'll keep the same setup name. I want to change that one. And I also want to clean the console. Basically, at the moment, we just have a button here. And every time we click on a button, we log fetch a dad joke. And underneath the button, this is where eventually we'll display that joke. So let's navigate over there. Like I said, I'm using that joke API. And this is the URL you want to use. And if you want to reference their docs, you can definitely do so. In my case, I want to skip that. And I just want to repeat that in order to get the dad joke, we also need to provide the accept header. And first, I just want to showcase what is going to happen if we don't do that. So I have a state variable by the name of joke. I also have a function. And as you can clearly see, the default value is this one. So now let's set up our fetch dad joke function, where we get the joke from the API. So at the moment, every time we click on a button, we invoke on click, and then we have the log. So let's change that one around, where we want to right away set up try and catch. Let's go with const. And then response is going to be equal to await axios. Notice here, I already import that one. And let's just provide the URL. So in the initial setup, I'm not going to provide that header, the accept one. So let's log this one. And once we click, I said, we're not going to get our data in the JSON format. So let's add that additional argument, we'll set it up as an object, if we want to provide headers, the actual property name is headers. And then in here, this is an object. And then we pass in the accept header, we want to go with application and forward slash JSON. And now you will notice if we refresh and if we fetch in the data, you right away have the joke. We're going to get the ID, the joke, as well as the status. And just to showcase that we can the structure right away, I'm not going to look for response data. I'll right away say, hey, get me the data out. And then let's log this sucker, more specifically, data joke. Again, let's try to repeat that one more time. And now, of course, I'm going to have the joke. So at this point, we want to set our state variable, the joke, equal to whatever we're getting back from the server. So let's run this. So set joke, data, data, dot joke. And then when it comes to error, simply log if there is any. So error, and then response. And now the result is going to be following where every time we'll click on a button, we'll actually fetch a random joke from the dad joke API, and we'll display the result over here. So that's how we can set up additional info to our request, more specifically, 
headers. We add an object as an additional argument. And in there, we look for headers property and whichever header you want to add. 